It was an eruption heard around the world that stranded millions of passengers. The nearly unpronounceable volcano Eyjafjallajökull erupted underneath one of Iceland's glaciers in 2010, producing fine ash which damages airplane engines. The ash production was quite fierce and there was, an, was a powerful explosion, sending the ash up to about 30,000 feet. Almost eight years later, six volcanoes in Iceland show signs of erupting, including the country's biggest. You see earthquakes. Uh, some of them are deep down, indicating that magma is on the move. Scientists closely monitor the country's 30 volcanic systems, but it's impossible to predict which volcano will erupt next or how bad it will be. That's not deterring curious visitors. Since 2010, tourism has increased fivefold. This new interactive museum called the Lava Center recently opened in southern Iceland. That year evolved from the big eruption in 2010. This exhibit lists all of the eruptions in Iceland since the year 1900, and there are even sound effects. Geothermal activity that produces Iceland's geysers, hot springs, and heated water, like that found at the country's top tourist attraction, the Blue Lagoon, also supplies as much as 30% of Iceland's electricity and heats about 90% of its buildings. In a way, people can thank the volcanoes. In a way, they can worry about them. So it's, it's a hate-love affair. And with volcanoes erupting about every four years, if you live in Iceland, it's just a part of life. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, Southern Iceland.